Hello flight simmers, welcome to Friday Night Flights. I got a flight plan in, uh, left Riverside there, Jones, Jenks, Oklahoma. We flew uh, over Oklahoma City, uh, uh, southwest side of Oklahoma over Lubbock, and we're en route to uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico. We're just uh, a little bit north of Carlsbad. That's Carlsbad, right there in that little town. Picked up just a little bit of bumps. I'll try to hold still. You can see the plane move. And I've got the flight plan in. Let's zoom in. I did a couple of RNAV approaches and it worked out. So we're en route to this EWM through this line here. Then we'll pick up into uh, the men's approach to Jospo down to runway 30. So all should go well. I've run through it twice it made two successful landings RNAV with this in VNAV mode so we'll keep our fingers crossed and see if we can get her in there right here is my top of descent it should automatically start descending me from flight level 310 down to I believe that's preset uh, down to 3,900 feet by the time we hit EWM. So we're roughly 106 nautical miles out. And it should start the descent. Like I said, uh, two successful RNAV approaches. Uh, shot one into Tulsa and then shot one into uh, Riverside. And it did good, it, just like an ILS. Getting into some mountains now, down here in the southwest side of New Mexico. Oh, look at that wind go. We're into a 56 knot wind about our one o'clock didn't start till we got over the mountains so we're doing uh, 401 knot ground speed 453 airspeed indicated I've got throttles to the wall it it couldn't make 49,000 feet it, it just couldn't do it I, I weight and engine them, I guess. Uh, weather, you know, temperature, pressure, saturation, all that. Wouldn't let it get to 40,000, so I'd, I'd level off about 39.3 and then drop down and try to get run a little faster, about 31. Seems to kind of like it down here. You can tell, you know, it's an underpowered aircraft compared to the Challenger. It's, uh, you know, awful realistic flight model that's for sure usually you know all the jets I've ever flown in flight simulation just take off and go you know they don't they don't you know hold you back you know and give you certain envelopes that you can't really hit you know in a jet you know you're so used to just woo, hammering and going and doing whatever you want to do you know you got to kind of work with this airplane. It's pretty, pretty different. Oh, I like it. I did get the uh, cabin altitude rate bug again, but I was able to come over here and bring oxygen on. And what I'll do is I'll turn it off, and you'll notice the you start uh, getting hypoxia and things start going dark. And if you don't do something, you end up passing out. And then once you're in the black, see, it's starting to get dark. It's starting to get hypoxia. Bring that back on. 
save myself here. Lighten up, get the air back to my brain. There it comes. Oh, better. <laughs> First start having, I thought I was going to have to end my flight, but either way, thank goodness for that. I was over here messing with the uh, pressurization thing. I couldn't get it to work. Well, it corrected itself, so we got the little red warning light on, but at least it's got that oxygen system. And I've been watching my gauges. I don't see them changing over here. We're almost to our top of descent. I really like this uh, Garmin. You can just like set it right there or whatever, kind of make it part of the instrument panel. Whatever you want to do. I kind of like it right here where I can expand it and kind of see a little better. It's nice. So I'm, I'm Got a flight plan in it. Trying to figure out how to use my Simbrief flight planner and uh, import it into that. That's going to take a little more reading. Look at that mountain. Woo. Pretty after sunset. We might have an evening approach or a dark approach. I hope we get there. I don't want to mess with the time. It's about a Two o'clock, two thirty in the afternoon departure out of uh, Jinx. Simulator just speaks for itself. into uh, runway runway 30 30 our nav approach we'll come right in here to men's we'll be coming in like this and we'll come into men's and our altitude there needs to be 6400 and we'll Catch the glide slope at Jospo should be at 6400 and it should take us right to runway 30. Our landing elevation four thousand six forty four. I've got the ATIS pulled up on So when it comes in, we should get it to set the altimeter that's pertinent on this RNAV stuff. One nineteen two five. Yep. As soon as we're in range, we'll hear it. All well, my passengers is doing well back there. the engines back there through the window so we can turn off lights back there
worried about that. I'm more worried about landing. Okay, we should be getting, doing our descent. Okay, so we're at the good end. We'll go. Uh, Descending 3,000 feet a minute. Uh, this thing gives you alerts and everything. Oh, cool. Okay. altimeter is. Hopefully we'll get it picking up here before too long. We're at the standard 29.92 for 18,000 or higher.
at 6400. set to around 250 for under 10,000 feet 14 for 7 miles out from EWM <coughs> and then I might have to go to uh, autopilot heading mode and turn towards that white line there that's where Mendez approach Somewhere back over in that haze right there. Alright. Uh, 10,000. Uh, uh, lights on. We're going to do wing lights this time. Lift the wing. Alright. Go ahead and arm the ignitions. Got uh, the engine sink off and then unlock the uh, lift dump system. Lost Christmas. Sweet. <coughs> Slow to our 250. Seven thousand at Mendez. Men's. We're set there. Wow, this is great. Awesome. There's us right there, heading right there. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful approach. This is one I was hoping to capture. I don't know what airport that is. <laughs> There's the rabbits. Oh, it's beautiful. I've trucked through Las Cruces a bunch. Always liked it. Speed bug to 180 for just reference. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Engine sink off. I'm not lift up. Got flaps, gear to go. Should be able to come off the oxygen now. That mountain. <laughs> Man, right over top of that sucker. Hope we don't drag. Our bellies on that. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't think this is real. This is not the real approach. My God, my God. I'm glad we're looking at our charts. Look at that. Hey, I'm not touching a thing. It's doing it all on its own. Terrain, right, we'll terrain. Play. Yeah. Terrain, terrain. We're real close to terrain. Terrain, terrain. Terrain, terrain. terrain. Okay, we're going to arm approach. Drop a flap. miles from we got a little ways to go we'll put the flat back up we'll bump the speed oh we just cleared that mountain oh my god seven thousand feet all right jospa we should be 6400 Set that just to back it up. Set altitude 6,400. Altitude 6,400 feet. Figured out what that butt does, it dims that light. Should be able to dim this one. Yeah. Look at that, isn't that sweet? So we got uh, we got a glide slope showing. We're not locked on it yet. Turn 
coming back now. That possibly could be our runway. Ten miles out, we better get ready for final. Let's speed down. Drop down to that 6400 and flap. There we go. Okay, Mendez 7000, Jospo 6400. There we go. That's our runway straight ahead. See the rabbit. Straight in. Flaps two. Keep our speed above one forty, we don't get the alarm. miles from Jospa and then we'll be on the glide slope. We'll drop the gear. Configured. All set for landing. done anything but set myself at the proper altitude according to the chart. So this is an RNAV approach into runway 30. Still never did get an ATIS. Uh, we're going to set our heading book for missed approach. Once glide slope grabs we'll uh, set Altitude. I don't know what missed approach altitude is. 9,000. Alright, glide slope's moving. It's alive. We capture here. Once it hits the middle marker, right here. See it dropping. And the plane will start descending to it. Approach FMS, autopilot still on. Glide slope capture. Uh, at altitude 9000. Outer marker. Full flaps gear down. Engine sink off. This is it, buddies. Uh, there's our radar altimeter, 2,000 feet. Speed's 130. Looking good. Done and parked, and we'll call it a night. Ooh, look at that sunset. Got a wind from about the 10 o'clock at 5 knots. Too bad, should be no factor.
still hands free, autopilot's on. Two mile final. Approaching three zero. Got terrain up ahead of us. It's taking effect. Back off power, floater out. A little long. It's okay. Lift up. Three thousand feet remaining. Two thousand remaining. One thousand remaining. All right. <laughs> Long run. Okay. Hex away there. One hundred remaining. We're done. Okay, strolls off. We'll keep them all on, but we'll see better. Yeah, like the way those lights up. Okay, clean up. We'll find the limo parking. That's what I'm looking for. RNF approach, baby. That guy looks like a pretty simple airport. That was exciting. <laughs> what an approach. I would think it could have been better if it had been some storms. Yeah. Enjoyed that flight. The cruise was a little long. A couple hours. Made it in with about a little less than half a tank of fuel. I went, took off full load. Of course, the plan said I didn't need that much. Approaching zero four. Nobody coming. Need those yellow follow me lines. This thing here. <laughs> Except when they start telling me taxi Alpha Zulu Delta Charlie 3 Kilo Whiskey. And it's like, okay, I'll need help then. 
That's what flight simulation is all about. There's the windsock. It does work. Accurate. So you don't ever see it. You drive by it, that's all it's good for. Okay, choices, choices. Approaching two, six. Nobody's coming. We're good. Cross it. Oh, right here. Push back cart and everything. We just sneak right on in here. RJ sitting there. Nice. Leave ourselves a little bit of room because we don't get a pushback. We can get turned. Set the parking brake and see if I can do a shed down here. Okay, we'll stop. Go we'll slow here. All right, so we can turn off. We can do all that last. Yeah, right, let's see if I can do it here. There it goes. Uh, generator's off. Avionics off. This is where we need this dude on. Uh, can't with the battery. Okay. See anything? Believe that's got it. Thanks for the ride along. We'll catch you next time.